Here we go. Hello, this is CB Ultra 768, and we are back with Ultraman Freezing Evolution Reba. And last time we did episode one where it was Ultraman vs. Bolton, and I unfortunately got my ass kicked a bit, but I made up for it in episode two by beating the crap out of Gomera and defeating Red King, who unfortunately uh, got abducted by aliens just as Ultraman left, and like the pilot and guys were like, oh, no, what, no matter what Ultraman does, no matter what these aliens do, Ultraman will always protect us. And then the captain's like, hmm, I hope everything will be all right. So now we're moving on to episode three. You episode know. three, Variant Kaiju. Captain, I've arrived at the dam just in time. The view is just beautiful. Wait, wait. Hey, hey, hey don't forget to investigate. We got reports that there's a straight voltage at the electric plants. Understood. Ah, Captain, I see Ultra 7. Oh, oh no. Calm down. Keep, keep report. What's happening down there? Sorry, Captain! It's a Light King! The Electric Man is being attacked by a Light King! Another revived Kaiju again. The abnormity at the Electric Man. All because of the Light King? We must stop the Light King. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't get to really look at the cutscene because I'm being the line. But, yay, now we're. Uh, no! Now we're playing Ultra 7, who I actually used uh, to actually help name my... Oh! I actually used Ultra 7 for the name of my channel. Because again, I just... To tell you the truth, before... When I made my channel, I actually never... Uh, actually never... Watched Ultra 7. I have actually been watching Ultra 7 now. And so far, I've watched... 40 episodes. And I have 8 episodes left. Well, technically 9, if... 48 turns out to be bogus. Hey, there we go. That one way better. Again, his charge seemed a bit better. His charge seems to have some reach. Still, there we go. Nice. Got him. Alright, here we go. Whoa, whoa. What is this light? Captain, the dam is enveloped in a strange light. What? Get away from the light! No! It's dangerous! A huge snake has appeared in the lake! Wait, is that a Light King? Snake form of Light King has appeared! Okay, quickly, switch over the paper. For the last lines to read. Okay, we're <laughs> good. Uh, this feels so hectic. So, yep, yeah, I didn't get to look at the cutscene. I'll look at it later. I've seen these cutscenes before, so. But yeah, now we have the new variation of a Light King. X a Light King. goes again. I was trying to do the charge attack, and it didn't work. Damn it. Let go. Get off. Bastard. Damn it. Just keep doing a circle. Oh, damn it. Come on! Ah! Fucking asshole! It's not good that he's hit me, because he's going to do something soon. Might as well hit him a bit. Ah, what an annoying little asshole. What? Oh, he's... Oh, that has to happen, because he does this, yeah. And then I take damage, like, Aah! It's like, shit. Ow. Ah, god damn it, crap. No, you don't. There we go. Come on, I almost got him. Hey, there was a kick. Nice, come on, come on. There we go, let's finish this. Not bad. Okay. He beat me up a bit, but... I think I got it. 
Well, yeah, I know I got him, but still, jeez. Oh, that cheap ass little, uh, 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 let me keep doing it. It's like, screw you, let the king die. I really do love the finishes in this game. I love how they made him, like, so epic. So my main complaint of this game is I wish they still had a bunch of other Ultraman. Like, it sucks that they took out all the Ultraman from, like, FE3. I would have loved to see, like, an epic kick from, like, Leo and, like, some stuff from 80s and stuff. But, oh well. Captain, it is electing that electricity is like that you can get very electricity to make it stronger. Was that Kaiju really elect king? Sorry. Hmm. We should investigate more about that transformation, transformed electric and that weird light. I feel this is a threat from space. Alright, yeah, sorry about that. I was just trying to read the script. I must have missed some lines earlier, because, okay, because earlier it says, Captain, it is eating the electricity! This elect king can convert electricity to make him stronger? Alright, so sorry, I missed that earlier. At least rank doesn't matter for unlocking these things. Thank God. Like, yay, we got X Elect King now. Awesome. Alright, now we're moving on to episode four. Let's see, I have this all here. Yep, okay. Let's move that into the light. Okay. So now we're going on to episode four. Episode four, the devil's counterattack. Okay, here we go. Ultraman Tiga is fighting on the streets now! The opponent is unbelievable! They're equal in strength! Oh no, he's a warrior of the alien Kree. Kree Lord. Kree Lord? He's fast, like Tiga, and a former no opponent. Okay. I'm trying to do a charge, but he won't let me. God damn. Come on. There's a hit. There's another one. Okay, there he goes. Now he's running. Here we go. I'll say, I knew we had to fight him a bit, and then he would run away. Captain, I think Feloy disappeared around here. And it's unbelievable, there's a, a giant underground train here. I've always wondered where the alien Creed came from. Maybe this is their base. Captain, I see something in the cave. What did you see? Go, Gomera, it's Gomera! Put out its tail! Gomera is sleeping! Why here? Be quiet, stop yelling, or you'll or wake him up. There we go. Except when he does that. Jerk. What? I miss. There we go. This should be easy because he's not gonna fight back. Ow! Except when I don't charge attack. I stop him. Oh. And... No, you don't. Come on. Okay, we're done. Gotcha. Tiga. It doesn't look like he wants to kill Gomra, and he's letting him go. Slept only to be disturbed. Gomra was unlucky. Ah, what happened? It must be Kreela. Watch out, he's back. Damn it, that's just too cruel. Oh, Kreela looks 
different than before. I see. But his strength in this kick It's a power. If that's true, Tiga is in danger. Dub, which was on four kids, which I've actually watched it now, and I'm like, it's not as great. But I mean, still, it's suitable. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna assume it's a B because of my health. Oh shit, an S. Ooh, I was about to say, I felt like the time was good. I didn't think my health was that good, but holy shit, wow, we got an S. Yay, my first S. And what do you know, it's with Tiga. <laughs> nice work, Tiga. Alright, cool. Alright, time to call it a part. <laughs> That's the thing about these. These are gonna be kind of short. Because, again, the cutscenes and stuff aren't that long. But still. But, yeah, still, thinking about that English dub, my favorite thing to go back to is the episode with, like, the bird aliens kidnapping people. And just the line he says in the English dub was just fantastic. Once we return to Raven Nebula, everyone will be trading humans. You'll be bigger than Pokemon! <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. This has been CB Ultra 768, and we will be back with... Right here, yep, Episode 5. And I believe we will be going to our, uh, let's see, this is our fourth Ultraman now. Because again, we just played Ultraman in the last part. We played Ultra 7 and Tiga in this one. And I believe up next is going to be Toro. So he'll be fun to use. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. This has been CB Ultra 768. And we'll be back with some more Ultraman Fighting Evolution Rebirth next time. So stay tuned for that. Mm, bye.